In the last video, I did an overview of Music B for Windows, a music management software for managing your music files. In this series of videos, we're going to be doing a deep dive into Music B, and I'll be going over its features in a lot more detail. Let's start by getting Music B. We'll go to getmusicb.com and go to download. We can get the installer version, the portable version, or the app store version for Windows. This program is only available for Windows. I'm going to get the portable version. I like to get the portable edition because it's easier to maintain my Music B installation as well as making it easier to move my music around and play them on different devices. So I'll download that. We'll save the zip in my downloads. We will extract it. And run the installer. Now before I run through the installer, I want to show you what my music is looking like here. So in my music folder, I have a folder called library. This is where all my music that I have in Music B will be organized. I have a folder for playlists. All my playlist files reside in there. And I have these music files, which are just files that are placed in my music folder. And we're going to use Music B to automatically organize all these files into my library's folder so that they're organized by artist, album, and track in their own folders. So that's how we're going to do that. And I'm going to create a Music B folder where I'm going to store my installation of Music B. So we'll hit OK on that. And I'm going to save this in my music. I'll create a folder called Music B. And this is where my Music B portable installation will be stored. I'll hit install. And we're good to go. We'll hit finished and run Music B. When you first launch Music B for the first time, you're going to select your language, in my case English. And you're going to need to select where Music B should scan your music. By default, it's going to look for your music folder and your public music. I'm going to specifically tell Music B to look for my library folder. And scan now. Now there's nothing in my library's folder yet, but we will start adding our music and organizing them. And so here we are with Music B with nothing in it. Now this program is extremely customizable and has a tons of features and options and settings. So in these next series of videos, we're going to be looking at Music B in a lot more detail. In the next video, we'll be looking at adding folders to our library for Music B to scan when we either start up Music B or if we want Music B to continuously monitor our folders. We'll also be setting our playlist folder as well and choosing which formats to use.